What's going on everybody? Jay Lawson here and today I'm going to be bringing you another math problem. Uh, we're going to be looking at an algebra word problem uh, with uh, just one variable but from this one I'm going to be able to show you how even if you got into a more complicated problem uh, with a similar uh, setup you'd still be able to solve it easily. So let's look at this uh, this problem here and go ahead and get into get into solving it. Um, it says the sum of two consecutive even integers is 502. Find these two integers. Okay. So like I said, even if it's the way we're going to show you how to solve this, because this is a more simple, simpler version, but even if it was to like said, the sum of 19 consecutive integers is 502. Find these integers. You would be able to solve it. That's the reason why I picked this because, you know, no matter how complex this question gets, you can still use this formula uh, to solve it. Now, what we want to think about is we have to have a variable set for an even number. So we can't just say, let the variable be like A or uh, B or N or whatever. You know, we have to have some kind of way to set it to where it shows that it's actually even. Now, what do we know about even numbers? We know that they're a multiple of two, right? So what we can do is, so no matter what the number is, if, if it's a multiple of two, that automatically makes it even. So for the first even integer, what we're going to do is set 2n as the first even integer. And the reason why we did that is because we want some kind of way to verify that it's definitely even. If we didn't do that, it, would, it wouldn't necessarily have to be even. But with the 2 in front of it, there's nothing you can multiply uh, by 2 and make it come out odd. It's, it's impossible. All right. So if, if the sum of these two consecutive integers is 502, then the second integer, if the first one's 2n, the second integer after that would have to be 2n plus 2. Because if the first one was, say, 14, the second one would have to be 16. So no matter what, it would be plus 2. So we can set 2n plus 2 as the second integer. Now let's look at the question again. It's saying the sum of these two is 502. So what we're going to do is we're just going to simply add these two together and set it equal to 502. 2n plus 2n plus 2 is equal to 502. Now let's go ahead and combine those both those two n's and make that four and make that 4n. So now we have 4n plus 2 is equal to 502. And now that little 2 there, we need to get that onto the other side. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to subtract by 2 on both sides, leaving us with 4n is equal to 500. Now to find n, all we have to do is simply divide by 4 on both sides. So we divide the 4n by 4, and we're going to get n. And we divide 500 by 4, we're going to get 125. So that's not an answer yet, because remember, the first even integer is 2n. So what we're going to do is go ahead and multiply it times 2, and we'll get 250. And so if 250 is the first even integer, then 252 has to be the second even integer, because remember we just added 2. And that is the answer. 250 and 252 are the two consecutive even integers that add up to 502. Now, let's say it had said the, the sum of 19 consecutive integers is 502. All we would have had to do is set 2n again as that first even integer, 2n plus 2 as the second even integer, 2n plus 4 as the third even integer, 2n plus 6 as the fifth even integer. You see what I'm saying? And we can do that 
till infinity. So even if they so told you that the sum of 100 consecutive even integers is 20,000, you would still be able to follow it and find the answer do, using this formula. So no matter what, you'd be able to solve it. I mean, it'd be a long calculation, uh, but you would eventually come to the right answer. So I hope this was a clear explanation and you understand how you could even go into more complicated uh, problems. But I hope you enjoyed the video as always. If you did, click like and I hope you subscribe and stay tuned for more math videos. And just keep in mind, if you always aim at legendary, you will land in success. I'm out.